Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Right now, we're going to look at Psalm 82, verses 1 to 7. Now, this is arguably not a popular place to go, but I was watching a video on YouTube by a, a teacher who's written books on this subject, and this is his jumping-off point. And I just want to use this as an example of how not to interpret Scripture. Okay, so it says this. This is a Psalm of Asaph. He says, God presides in the great assembly. He renders judgment among the gods. Okay, now, so, now you just stop right there. So modern translations put quotation mark around the, the word gods. Okay, as though that's what people call them. Well, how do we know that that's what he means? Or does he mean something very different? In some sense, they were gods in some sense. Well, verses 2 through 4 provide the explanation as to what do these, quote, gods do, okay? It says, how long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods, verse 5, the gods know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Well, what does this say? Well, the reason these gods are being judged is because they are rendering unjust judgments. So what Paul is doing, I mean, what the author of Psalms is doing, he's just stating that the leaders of Israel, those who function as judges, because you've got, got to remember, Israel's a physical picture of the kingdom of God. So if you're rendering judgments, then you are doing it on behalf of the king. So this is the picture of God's kingdom. So in that sense, and in that sense alone, you are gods, because you're acting like gods in rendering judgment. But because of verses 2 through 4, this provides the commentary, or God's own, God is interpreting verse 1 by saying they are gods in the sense that they are rendering unjust judgments upon Israel, and therefore they will be punished. So with that in mind, just to just to encourage you to be very careful. Let God interpret his own word in context. Don't just jump at one verse and then assume a variety of things from it. But God must interpret his own word. Thank you very much.